I look forward to the leadership confession sessions. We are going to knock the ball out of the park. I feel extremely proud to be a part of this fantastic journey. Really looking forward for it. Welcome to Adam Next. A session of collective discoveries spread over a week. The Talent Conclave is the idea of really helping people dig in um, uh, and really uh, immerse themselves in their abilities to develop, right? At Sapient, we identified this need and we thought we would create this experience for our people which would help them reflect on their needs better and connect that to a learning experience for every one of our 7,000 people. Talent Next is a journey to elevate talent mindset in the organization. We want to make India a place where we groom talent and India is known for talent which is innovative as well as uh, has a career that demonstrates leadership. So come, let's see what we have done with Talent Next, a unique experience that was designed over a course of one week for all our people across three locations. Sapiens people across three cities in India seek to uncover what's next for each one of them on their talent journey. Talent Next is a journey to enable potential in people at Sapient and a powerful beginning was made through the Talent Conclave. Talent Next aspires to embody for Sapiens people a journey from self-discovery to exploring different possibilities. Our intention was to help our people understand that development is a pull, it's not a push, unless they feel the need from within. You know, somebody else cannot come and help them develop. And in order to do that, um, it requires self-reflection, it requires awareness, and we wanted to create a set of experiences which would help our people you know, understand their role in that process. We introduced a new approach to talent development by democratizing learning. We turned the age-old concept of directed learning on its head. All we do as Sapient is great work and creating great experiences for our clients. And in order to actually do great work and create great experiences for a client, we need to have great people capabilities. And those great people capabilities can be enabled only if people focus on talent. Right. And if we focus on talent and we elevate the focus on talent in the organization and we enable people to develop and realize their potential, they're going to do fantastic work and they're going to create great experience for our clients. We allowed people to choose what they feel passionate about, discover their inner callings and explore facets of their personality to understand who they want to be and eventually make a choice. Sapir is a truly amazing place to work, uh, totally driven by the culture and values of people here. Uh, I've seen people growing here and I've myself grown in a lot of uh, professional and personal aspects. One of the most important things that we can equip people with is the understanding and opportunity to learn more. And we can't possibly, you know, in, in learning and development, you can't possibly cover every single topic. So we have to provide people with the skills and capability to discover for themselves. Challenging the conventional methodology of building a learning organization, Sapient created a learning supermarket and allowed people to make choices. The platform for learning was provided by Sapient but it did not confine learning to just the boundaries. It encouraged people to pursue a longer-term development journey that fulfills their aspirations. Sapien is a perfect place for a bacterial like enemy to thrive. If you seek empowerment, freedom, flexibility and the recognition for the work you do, Sapien is the place to be. The enthusiastic response of our people further confirmed our conviction that they were just waiting to be inspired to engage in a development journey. And like you walk into a store and you pick what you want in a grocery store, you go and pick the development 
engine or the development tool that makes sense to you, most sense to you. And hence we shifted the frame by not creating an advertisement engine, but we actually created a conclave of experience. Talent Next Conclave was divided into three swim lanes, starting with self-awareness through the self-discovery track. The idea of this track was to help people understand their strengths and weaknesses through group simulation games and psychometric assessments. The conclave included a separate track on coaching where 65 of the country's best coaches spend time with our people for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. How confusing it can be. For the participants, this was a unique opportunity towards realizing the power of conversation towards achieving targeted talent development. I think when we started off with coaching, you know, we thought of what the intent would be of what we wanted to achieve. And we realized that really it's about, you know, making, making our people understand what the power of coaching is. This is the first interaction that I had with them and really the purpose of this conversation was not to impart that one pearl of wisdom which could be the magic change in their life. So this was the starting point for that path and they have a development plan and a development framework for their career journey going forward. The most popular of the three swim lanes was the career counseling sessions where over a hundred of our people, managers and leaders dedicated over four to six hours each to have one-on-one -on -one career development discussions with our people. How I can grow myself as a PMO, you know, within the capacity team, within the internal team, in safe internally. This is what I actually need. Well, I personally believe that, first of all, you should actually have a long-term plan, a long-term view about how you see your career and where you want to go in terms of your career. Uh, and then kind of work backwards Development is not a training program. Development is a valuable conversation. Development is about exploring self and recognizing what you need to actually move forward. It could be a training program, which is a skill building exercise. It could be a mentoring, it could be a coaching, it could be a job rotation, it could be so many other things. Other than the three main tracks, the conclave also included panel discussions and speaker sessions on topics of importance to our people. For example, how do I make a career at Sapient? Each session had three to four hundred people in attendance. One of the things which I learned was how to deal with the clients better and how to, you know, uh, the, the myth which we have, whether the clients are always right or wrong, uh, but there's nothing which is called wrong. In project management, I have a lot of questions that I keep asking myself, whether I'm in the right domain or not. Is it, is it the right path? Do we really have a future in project management apart from Sapient or not? And I just thought that probably this could be a chance to answer or ask uh, those questions from people who've been in this domain for a good number of years. Who writes? writes so a writer and a teacher. They know, tell us what and finally, the most inspiring sessions were so the Leadership down. Confessions, and, where senior leadership yeah. team members spoke about their failures and learnings. These sessions brought our leaders closer to our people and gave them the opportunity to see a side of them they did not get to see every day. You know, not treat failures as failures, but really, you know, treat them as learning curve. And I, I don't think that I've, you know, 18 of years of experience, I've learned everything. I will continue to actually experiment and grow more. And that will actually what will define my next 10 years also it has defined my last 18 years. Leadership journey is not a very straightforward path. It is many snakes and ladders, but how do you actually uh, really take these those points of failures and convert them into you know, learning moments for yourself or, or growth moment for yourself and then take it through to actually achieve your next ladder I think is the key takeaway uh, that I thought uh, I was able to actually tell, tell, tell the team while actually confessing my own leadership journey. I spent some time sharing what I've been through over 14 years on that particular issue and I think it's an example of we all share uh, a lot of the same gaps as we go through our career. We share a lot of the same fears and anxieties so our ability to help each other we probably underestimate. Eventually, events like this become a learning experience, not just for the employees, but for the senior management as well. For us, within learning and, and generally within talent, I think it's important that we keep an open mind as to you, you never know what it is that the person is struggling with. Our people are the key to our success. Thus, Talent Next 
became an important long-term strategic investment in our people. People are feeling the difference that some conversations can make. Leaders are feeling the, the ease with which these conversations can be had. So, and you know, speaking for me personally, it has just been tremendously energizing to be in these conversations with many other leaders. People in Sapient have made their choices. They chose to participate. They came, they discovered. The whole idea is to just bring the focus on ourselves. So each person is the hero in this entire conversation. It's a networking event, it's speed dating, it's you know, self-discovery, talent development all rolled into one. Talent Next is a great opportunity for us to deliver on our purpose of being a great company, enabling human potential, uh, and focusing on our core values, particularly people growth. For me, it, it, it is um, a testament to how seriously we take people at Sapient. And part of our purpose and values is that we want to be a great company enabling human potential. And you can't do that unless you actually understand what people want and need and, and help them and coach them in their career. To take the talent that we have in the company, take it to another level, nobody knew how big it was going to be because the demand and the response that we've had to it was so much larger than it was anticipated. The overwhelming success of Talent Next makes us extremely proud of what we've accomplished in a week. But it also makes us very hungry for more. Over the course of the next few months, we're going to plan out a lot more development experience for our people and we look forward to coming back to you and telling you how we have made progress on our learning journey. The Talent Next Conclave has made a powerful beginning towards enabling people's potential. People have realized the ownership for development lies with them and Sapient is providing all the tools. A new journey has begun.